Right, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking with Daybreak. Double two four double two. Those uh, that is rather our SMS line. You can also tweet us at Citizen TV Kenya at mm -hmm. Mora at Zinzi underscore K. Use the hashtag Daybreak. It's your ticket into the conversation. We'll get to sample a few of um, your thoughts in regards to the conversation that we'll be having here in studio with the ladies that you can see. Um, Senator, let me come back to you. Still on this specific story. According to the World Bank, Kenya has been ranked amongst one of the most economically unequal countries in the world. Therefore, meaning that in terms of wealth distribution, we don't do so well. This new color of currency that we are seeing, this new change of currency, do you think it will help balance the wealth uh, distribution that we have in Kenya? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, of course, we have several structures that uh, are in place in terms of wealth distribution. It's not only the currency that will determine whether <laughs> we'll be able to have uh, equal distribution of wealth. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, uh, as we discussed earlier, we need to look at the bigger picture. What is the big objective that we are going to achieve out of this? The issues of sculpture that we have just discussed, is it really uh, an objective way of looking at the solution we are going to have uh, in this country? So those are the small issues that we can be able to deal with. But as uh, you have said, wealth distribution is a big problem in this country because of the structures we have already put in place. And I think we have to do a lot in terms of ensuring that we have equal distribution of uh, wealth in this country. For example, um, we have CRA formula in this country that actually uh, gives direction in terms of how uh, national budget or national care can be uh, distributed. Is it really equal? That is the question we need to ask ourselves. For example, if Yolo County gets four million, I mean, sorry, four billion, yeah? While some counties, of course, we are looking at the issues of population and the rest, are receiving more than 11 billion. That in some cases, from the stories we are, we are hearing, they are unable even to utilize that budgetary allocation. How do we make sure as a country, for example, we have equal share of wealth, starting from the bottom up to the high levels? So uh, for me, my answer to that question is we need to do a lot. But I'll look at the bigger objective in terms of the currency that we have already launched. And I think the bigger objective is that, of course, we have a constitutional provision where we need to do ABCD. Secondly, we have a bigger objective that this is going to help us to fight corruption. Yeah? Uh, the issue of sculpture, as my colleagues have said, we cannot forget the founder of this nation, plus others. We have uh, sculptures all over statutes uh, for the freedom fighters in various parts of this country, which we have appreciated. And this should not be something that can divide us. It should be something that should unite. Yes, something okay. that should unite us. Okay. If we really mean that one of the ways of fighting corruption in this country is to have the new notes, as I've said earlier, let me eat. Okay. So, but as a country, we should stop this issue of fighting each and everything new that is coming, personalizing, this is targeting so and so, this is targeting A, B, C, D. I mean, really, we can't politicize everything. Honorable Lachi seems to really agree, agree with you on this one. Honorable Lachi, even as, as you go in, um, any challenges that you foresee? I know you're saying, let's look at the big picture, but we also want to look at the nitty gritty. Do you foresee any challenges? Would you have, have started to see a different rollout? Any suggestions? Or is everything perfect according to in terms of how the setup has been uh, laid out? I will, I will be lying if I say it is perfect in terms of rollout, because I haven't seen the plan of the rollout. But I'm hoping that they will ensure also the currency is there. Um, I'm hoping that um, I know my senator, my majority leader, deputy leader, said uh, one thing, that um, if it is indeed going to bring out the money, and I know also Honorable Gladys talked about it, that we want to see, but we also want to know how much has come out. And what are we doing with the money? And I would pray that the government will use this money to start paying directly the debt that we owe. 
this day we are talking about trillions and trillions. I am hoping every money that we get from corruption, that we know this is illegal money, let it go and pay that because it was supposed to go into development and that development to bring out a revenue that goes back and pays debt. So I'm hoping we can know the figures as we move on. I'm not saying it has, as we move on, because I know we've recovered quite, uh, uh, we've recovered money. They now need to come. This will give Kenyans uh, motivation to even support more. Because they'll say, if indeed this is what we are receiving from money that has been legally taken from us, mm. and we are here to support because we know so far you've received 100 billion, 200 billion, but directly, don't tell us it's coming to development because already you have planned for development. Take it to pay debts and, and, and show Kenyans we were in debt of this trillion, we've just reduced, we are here. Okay. We are here. People will really support you. Speaking of corruption, so I'll ask you this is it true that your clerk was jailed for four million? Well, yes, my clerk in Dubai. Um, they went for a benchmarking, but this is something that happened in 2016, and I know Foreign Affairs has really tried to assist to ensure uh, that uh, he's not taken in jail, but his particulars are being held by the authorities in Dubai until they pay the money. And these are some of the things we're saying. Now, when you look at some of these things of benchmarking, it brings a lot of... I mean, you can imagine we are in gold madness. So you imagine if he's in jail, the way they will treat him so badly. So for me, I will thank Foreign Affairs for managing the process, but I'm hoping they will send the money. And don't forget Dubai is in a holiday of 10 days. So he has to stay maybe for 10 days until they finalize, and then uh, they pay the money, and then they give him back his passport and everything for him to come back to Kenya. Okay. But it is wrong. I want to you cannot go for benchmarking when you don't have money. Why are you going? And in the first place, what training <laughs> we'll, we'll is this? Give the approvals. Uh, well, uh, that, well, Nairobi is the most uh, unique county we have in in Kenya. So you know, <laughs> you can do anything. And when you talk about it, you'll be hit by bloggers like nonsense. So sometimes I just say, you know what? We talked about these things. People used to wonder what is Elachi saying. So, but they have to manage it in a way that it is wrong. And they have already now uh, spoiled their name. Let them stop now going to Dubai because it's it's no longer good for them. Okay. It's no longer good okay. for Using them. Okay, using a lot of these, you know, trying not to name individuals. Well, I don't want, because, you know, it's a story that was uh, kept, kept. But I know Foreign Affairs uh -huh. talked to me and they told me, yeah, we will manage and uh, he will not be in jail. But, and, and therefore, even for the family, it is, it is well. Good. We want yeah. to wrap up the discussion on new currency. Brief thoughts from uh, Honorable Shule and Honorable Wanga before we talk about matters in Nairobi, what's been happening in Nairobi, but also gender equality, yep. which is something we want to get into shortly. But Honorable Shule, go ahead. Yeah, one, I'd, one thing I'd like to say to Kenyans, first of all, when we had the first currency that we've been using up to date, nobody asked us and we were using it. When they put Moi's picture on it, no one asked us. When they put uh, Kibaki's uh, picture, uh, I mean, the, the coins, shilling coin. nobody asked us. So I think we should be grateful that we had an opportunity during the constitution making process to be able to have an input on what we want to have in our currency. So public participation has been done. And to those who think that they can't have the image, uh, the sculpture of the founding father outside KICC that becomes part of KICC, after all, it's named after him. <laughs> There's something you cannot erase history. It's like I cannot no one. If today you had an, you were shown a picture of uh, South Africa at the at the uh, stadium square with you know Nelson Mandela with his fist up, everyone will say that's South Africa. So you cannot erase history. And when we put the symbol of the founding father. He, 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 it's not, we're not talking about him as a person. He symbolizes all those men and women who fought for our freedom. And I'm happy that we have continued as a country to continue to name them. I was very happy, I was in Kisumu recently, and I was able to see that there are roads named after Cheng and Eko and all the other freedom fighters. And I think that is something we must continue to do. Okay. I have, I have uh, 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 tabled a bill in parliament, the Kenya Reparations Bill, and one of the items there is that we should build museums to be able to recognize those who have, um, who have suffered historical injustices, but also to recognize those who have fought and struggled for our country. So 
I think it's uh, I, I think fighting it and and what has happened and I, w I want to warn the judiciary they should not become the boxing ring for anything people who want to settle scores okay and and because that's very important because they're soon going to lose respect and people will begin to not take the judiciary seriously. And once that happens, they will lose authority. So it's very important. The judiciary is careful that mm -hmm. not every issue, a decision that is made by any institution that is independent. So let in our independent institutions make the decision. Okay. The central bank has been mandated to do that. The constitution has mandated mm -hmm. to them to do it. Let us leave it to them. Let us leave it and to lastly any, any? on this okay. is that mm -hmm. if, if we've been asked because no one is saying they're taking away your money. They've simply said, mm -hmm. take the money to the bank. We shall exchange it for you and give you the new currency. Just the way when I have a torn note, I normally take it to the bank and the bank gives it back to me. If your money is legitimate and you, and you are paying taxes, mm -hmm. surely... What is the objection about taking it? And remember, no one is saying you can't take 100 million or 200 million yes. shillings to the bank. All you, you they've actually given an amnesty. Prove where you got it from. No, you oh. just need to explain so that we make sure that you've not been doing uh, illegal trade and, uh, yes, ex exactly. So that is just to make sure, and that is not, it's international anti money anti laundering uh, laws. Of oh. course, I would have loved it if I was doing it, if I thought, and this I can know for a fact, and if I, I thought that, last point. Yes, yes. If, if I thought that people had money out in their houses and it's not legitimate money, maybe we can earn some income from it, bring it back, we'll exchange it for you, <laughs> but you pay 50% tax. Maybe so we'll earn some income as a country. I want, I want